KMAP is a multi-week training package that really begins with the familiarization of both U.S. and Korean forces on each other's weapons, tactics, techniques, and procedures. The second portion of it is the live fire ranges, and those include small arms, sniper, machine gun, grenadier ranges, demolition ranges, live fire shoot house, mortar gunnery ranges, and FDC procedures. It culminates then in a Phoenix where we jointly plan between our U.S. and Korean Marine counterparts a battalion level exercise that essentially is a night infiltration to seize an urban objective that's defended by a company level opposing force where we use non-illuminated combined arms capability. By conducting these combined arms exercises, it provides those repetitions and experiences in new environments that only serve to enhance the ability for Marines to operate in any climate place. The Marine Corps remains the world's most highly trained and lethal force. Our ability to operate within the first island chain, to mobilize, deploy, and then partner with an allied force as we execute fully integrated combined arms rehearsals in this time compressed environment, really showcases how the Marine Corps can achieve the ultimate objectives of deterrence in the U.S. Indo-PACOM theater. It really integrates all of our capabilities into a multi-domain environment and allows us to showcase that lethality, the flexibility, and the responsiveness of the U.S. Marine Corps. A highly trained, well-disciplined force that's forward deployed is capable of transitioning rapidly from competition to crisis to conflict and back again. There is no region we cannot operate and no adversary we cannot defeat. Seven, seven, nine, or eight. I'll copy over. Vulture, 2 2 